Let me show you how to make a window bag. Hey YouTube, it's Matt here. Hey, I have the absolute best subscribers in all of YouTube, and I want to thank my subscribers for always giving me great ideas. I had a I had a request to make a window bag. Now, what a window bag is for, if you ever sign a or forgive me if you sign, if you ever send a book off or take a book to be signed, you want that artist to sign in the spot on the book that you want them to. And if you just send in a raw book, you don't know how they're going to handle the book. A lot of signers, they, they're signing book after book. And a lot of times they just grab the book and they move it off to the side and they sign and then they hand it over. And we all know, we try to take the best care of our books so that they all stay pristine. And, you know, we all want the mint 9.8s. And if we want to make sure that they stay that way, we have to send books into them to be secure. So there's a lot of places you can send books to be signed. Um, right now, CGC is doing very well with their private signings. You take a book, you um, put it in a window bag, and then you send it off to Florida, which is where CGC is located. Then the artist or the writer or whoever, I guess writers are artists, right? They will sign the book for you and then it will come back in a yellow label CGC. And right here's one. In fact, I had just sent this Conan book. I just sent this off to the Roy Thomas signing uh, back in, I sent it in October. It came back in January. I love this Conan the Barbarian number 24. That signature just looks gorgeous on this cover. And so I will show and I will demonstrate how I build window bags. Now, the books that I'm going to show you are CGC books, but CGC is not the only place you can have books signed. A lot of people like to have raw books, and sometimes you can send a book off to a LCS, and they'll have a private signing, and sometimes they send to CGC. Sometimes it's just for raw books. A lot of times you can go to a convention, because conventions will happen again someday, knock on wood. I don't know if you guys heard that. But a lot of times uh, you can take a book to a convention and have a CGC signature witness there. But there's other places other than the CGC private signings. Now, the first thing I do whenever I do a window bag is I want to know where I want it signed. And you take the cover and sometimes, you know, there's a spot like right here. Maybe the artist can sign it in silver. Who knows? In fact, I'm going to make a window bag for this area right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a Sharpie, and I'm not going to draw in a comic book, obviously. I am going to draw roughly the box that I want in a Sharpie. Put it right there. Roughly, this is where I want. Now, I am going to want this in silver, and we'll keep that uh, for later, or we'll talk about that later. But now that I have it marked off, I'm going to take painter's tape and that Sharpie mark that I made. Honestly, it's not so important that it has to be exact. It's just roughly where I want it. And even here, the painter's tape, just roughly where I want it. So I'm going to rip it off and I am going to actually start to build my window. Now, one thing I could have done, I could have taken the book out but i am going to hold that step for next there's multiple ways of doing this all right so we're going to just fold that back not super tight okay now the next step it is very important that the book is not in the window bag so to make sure that i don't get the book stuck stuck on the tape I'm going to flip this back and tape the tape backwards so that it there's no chance that the tape will come in contact with the comic book. 
Gonna set that off to the side. All right, now the next step. This is where you take a utility knife or an X-Acto knife of some type and just slightly, you're just going to cut the plastic. And again, it does not have to be exact. It's just a rough area where you want it. And we know that this is where we want the book to be signed in this window. Oh, perfect. Sometimes it's a little hard to get these out. There's a little tag there that's holding it. And that's all right. Just take the knife and cut that. So we have a nice little window here. Okay. And it's all right that it, you probably did put a mark. And if you look really close, you can see where I marked that. Now, I am very particular. In shipping, these little edges can mark a comic book, believe it or not, even though it's real small. So I will replace the book, or the, forgive me, the backing board. This way I have a smooth backing board, which is going, going to go on the back of that comic. So I slide in the new backing board. Now, remember when we talked about we want him to sign in silver? Because let's go back to this cover. This window is going to cover roughly this area. Well, this is a black area on the comic book. If they sign in black ink, you'll never see it. So what we're going to do, we're going to write uh, uh, silver. <laughs> sign in silver. In fact, we'll put <laughs> arrows. And then I'll do it one more time just so that they don't miss it. Because again, a lot of times these signers have signed so many books and their handlers have signed so many books that they all start to look alike. Well, you write something like this on there twice, they're going to see that and that silver will really show up. Now, the next step, you are going to be very careful putting this book in there because now you have a window where you could potentially catch the edge of the comic book on her. And I'll be honest, this book has been in this bag for a long time. I do not like scotch tape. Now, back in the day, heck, I used scotch tape just like everybody else, but I like to use painter's tape now because you can remove painter's tape and it will be all right. Now, the bag you're sending it in, a lot of times people like the Mylar bags. This is a regular poly bag and it's nothing special. And you guys can see this is where I want that signature to go. Now, also, you will see this is still an area that is exposed. And it in shipping, it could get rubbed. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one more bag and we are going to place this book inside of yet another bag. And I chose a little larger bag. This is a Silver Age bag. And we will also make sure you use that Reggie brand tape. <laughs> oh, and you heard Spencer. This tape here, this red <laughs> gibbon tape, if you will, this is on the ReggieCollects.com website. I'll put a link in the description. It's just something funny that Reggie Collects YouTube channel put out because he always uses painter's tape. So he wanted something that was just more of a brand from his channel. And I, I like to use it also. I will still use blue painter's tape. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, just this is a, what I had right here. So now there's one last thing. We need to make sure that the people, the handlers for the signers know to remove this from this bag. You're going to put window bag. Window bag inside. Now what this does, it just lets them know that there's a window bag. And they can see this. 
But a lot of times the handlers might accidentally take the boat, the bag out of both bags, not realizing what you're doing. So this is a bag that is, or forgive me, this is a book that is inside a window bag and it's also protected by another bag and it's on its way to CGC. Now, whenever I send it to CGC, I will again, I'll protect this a little extra measurements. Uh, probably put it inside of bag and board and tape it on either side just for a little added protection. All right, if you guys have any questions on how to make a window bag or any other questions, go ahead and put them down in the comments. A lot of times your questions can lead to me making a video to help my subscribers you know, learn more about the collecting hobby. All right, guys, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribing yet, please go ahead and hit that subscription button and hit that notification bell. All right, guys, everyone, thank you for watching.